See you today coming up in just a few moments here on the channel. But before we do, somebody on one of the other channels broke the record for most comments left by one individual. So why not you guys? Why can't we do the same thing here? So I want to challenge you guys. And whoever leaves the most comments on this video, we'll make sure to shout them out and get them a mention on our next show. But leave us a comment a lot of comments. You break the record, you're getting on the next show. Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Appreciate you joining us. On today's show, the Seahawks have made a free agent signing. Also, new Baker Mayfield trade rumors and more. We'll break those down in just a moment. Let's start with the news of the day. Marquise Goodwin, the Wide receiver is headed to Seattle, and if you recall, most recently he played for the Chicago Bears and previously spent time in San Francisco, brief stint in Philadelphia, although that was the COVID year, so he never sold the field with the Eagles and was also with the Buffalo Bills. And the roster spot opened up by Levi Lewis being waived over the weekend by the Seahawks, the undrafted free agent rookie, uh, creating this spot for Goodwin. And what it does for the Seahawks is potentially provides a deep threat if Goodwin were to make the roster. You go back to his 40 time from the 2013 NFL Draft Combine, and he ran a 4 2 40 time. Pretty good from Goodwin there. Look, I know the production with Goodwin has not been great, but when you look at the raw athleticism and the raw skills that Goodwin possesses, I don't see any wrong in giving Goodwin a shot here. It's worth it. The reward here is much higher than the risk. There is no risk in bringing in Marquise Goodwin at this point in time to give him a shot to make this Seahawks roster. That raw speed, might as well see if you can fit it into this system. We know that there will be a new quarterback this year in Seattle, and if you can give them an additional deep threat that can get down the field and Marquise Goodwin, like what Pete Carroll wants, watch out. That could certainly be a game changer. So I like the Marquise Goodwin signing here. Don't know if he'll make the team or not, but certainly worth a shot to see if he has the talent to do so. Now, your turn. Chime in. Grade the signing of Marquise Goodwin in the comments section. This is our pinned comment today. You're about to get an ad break. Take advantage of it. While the ad's playing, tell us what you think of the signing. Type A, B, C, D, or F on how the Seahawks did bringing in Marquise Goodwin. Baker Mayfield, the rumors will not go away until something happens, right? New report from The Athletic says that the Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers are still interested in in Mayfield, here's the latest update from Jeff Howe as he writes, the Panthers and the Seahawks still haven't ruled out acquiring Mayfield, but they'll need the Browns to take on a much greater portion of his contract than they've offered so far. It's unclear how far apart these sides have been, but the Browns want their contractual intake to be uh, within the asset they receive in return. So... That's the situation right now is that it's still ongoing of this idea of potentially bringing in Mayfield to Seattle. And if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, it seemed like these rumors were dead. More on that in just a second, but before we do, I got to sell you some shirts. You want to look good in Seahawk colors coming up this season? Here's your chance to do so. T-shirt, long sleeve combination. Over 25% off on this duo. You can't miss it. You need to get your hands on these products. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks combo. You're not going to find a better deal on the internet than this one right here. Whether it's the throwbacks or the modern stuff, they have it all. It's a great deal. T-shirt, long sleeve combo, over 25% off. Chatsports.com slash Seahawks combo. So... We heard a report from Josina Anderson of CBS Sports within the last week or two that the Seahawks were apparently out on Baker Mayfield, that they weren't interested. We've heard Pete Carroll say he's committed to this quarterback room of rolling with Geno Smith because he knows the system and Drew Locke as 
the guy that they felt was better than any of the quarterbacks in this draft class. That's all we've heard from the Seahawks when it comes to this quarterback room moving forward without Russell Wilson. But now this report about them potentially bringing in Baker Mayfield is pretty interesting. We've talked about Baker Mayfield ever since Deshaun Watson came to Cleveland as a possibility for the Seattle Seahawks. And for me, when I hear that the Seahawks are interested at the right price, that sounds about accurate because as things stand right now, the Seahawks don't have the money for Baker Mayfield. $13 million in cap space. Baker Mayfield's going to require $18 million in guaranteed money, no matter what. You have to figure out who's going to pay him that, whether it's a split with Cleveland, whatever it may be. They cannot afford Baker Mayfield as is right now. So when I look at that going forward, how does that all shape out? The idea of Mayfield to Seattle is not out of the question, it seems, right now, if they can get Cleveland to pay part of that money. And Cleveland, you know, they upset a lot of people with the way that they handled the Deshaun Watson situation of all that guaranteed money. So you can see why teams may be hesitant on this Baker Mayfield deal in retaliation for how they handled Deshaun Watson. So for the Seahawks, I don't think that there's a sense of urgency that with every passing day, that price tag gets cheaper for Baker Mayfield. And who knows, maybe he'll just get caught and end up in Seattle that way. So we want to ask you guys. Will Baker Mayfield end up in Seattle when it's all said and done? Here's your chance to chime in in the comments section. Type Y for yes, type N for no, if Baker Mayfield will end up as a Seahawk when it's all said and done. Now, I'm not asking if it's going to be a trade or in free agency. I just want to know from you guys if it's going to happen or not. Type Y for yes, type N for no. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, whether you think it's going to happen or not. I want to make sure that you are on here each and every day for Seahawks today. Non-stop coverage every day on the channel, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV to subscribe. Hit the red sub button for daily Seattle Seahawks YouTube videos here on the channel. And I promised you that we would shout out subscribers that sent me screenshots of the show to my DMs, and they did not disappoint. Emilio, who wanted me to make sure and mention that uh, Emilio is part of the Mexican Seahawk contingency and that they're a strong base. So, Emilio, we appreciate you and your fans uh, for reaching out and uh, being a part of what we're doing here. Gordon, Michael, Blazer, all you guys, as well as Nathaniel, Christopher, Blake, thank you for checking out Seahawks today, for being an award-winning watcher of the channel. We're covering this each and every day like no one else is. And I think you guys are also following me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Tyler Jones Live for uh, sending in those screenshots as well. So, uh, one more note. George Ioka, the free agent safety, is a possibility for the Seahawks. He worked out for the team last week, according to NFL Network's Mike Garofolo. And for the Seahawks, he wanted to be playing safety, though. He could potentially serve as a cover linebacker. Now, we haven't seen George play in quite some time. 2020 was the last time after he tore his ACL. So it has been a minute as far as that goes. Now, I'll tell you this much. If the Seahawks bring George in, I wouldn't expect much from him at this point with being a long time since he's played at a high level. And coming off the injury and where he's at at this point in his career, I would expect if this signing happens, this is a camp body of some sorts. If he ends up on this 53-man roster, I would be very shocked and surprised. And here we are on Monday, and they haven't signed him yet. So you worked him out at the end of last week, and nothing's happened since then. Maybe he just doesn't end up in Seattle at all, but I wouldn't expect much out of that. Before we go, I want to hear from you guys. There are still a few free agents out there. I know that a lot of you wanted the Seahawks to bring back Jadavion Clowney, but that didn't happen. He's a Cleveland Brown. Who is a free agent the Seahawks should sign? Is there one more name out there, one more player that catches your eye? Let me know in the comments section. Name a free agent the Seahawks should sign here with free agency continuing as we wrap up the countdown to kickoff of 2022.